Hello viewers, a very good evening. I'm Aditi Lama and this is an edition of ITV Gold's Vision of Asia, bringing you all prime South Asian happenings from across the nation Monday to Thursday and Sunday. With an in-depth perspective for voice and representation, we aim to bring you stories to empower, support and applaud members of the community on this South Asian news segment. This week has seen much activity in the diaspora with the festive season coming in with many events and commemorations. We have tonight a lineup of stories from cultural, political and religious spheres from the community. Let's begin by taking a look at the top stories for this evening. Consulate General of India hosts 4th International Day of Yoga at Governor's Island in New York. In conversation with renowned spiritual leader Acharya Dr. Lokesh Muni at ITV Gold Studio. Basava International of New York celebrates Basava Jayanti 44th anniversary in Floral Park. A lot more on these events on the other side of the break, so do stay with us on Vision of Asia. The Voice of Community will be right back. <music> Welcome again, I am Aditi Lamba and you're watching Vision of Asia. International Day of Yoga, a Prime Minister Narendra Modi's initiative, has definitely been successful in the last few years, bringing together nations around the world. With an essence of peace attached to yoga, this day is dedicated to embracing and educating masses on the great benefits of yoga in wellness and health, an Asian gift as said by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to the world by India. This week marks the fourth annual International Yoga Day with numerous events taking place all across the globe. The Indian consulates in the U.S. along with the Permanent Mission of India at the United Nations in New York City and the Indian Embassy at Washington D.C. are all hosting nationwide Yoga Day commemorations alongside various other Indian nonprofits and organizations to support India's initiative in bringing the ideals of peace, nonviolence, love and more. International Yoga Day truly showcases the true spirit and culture of Indian traditions, heritage and its lasting impact. Kicking off the week of International Yoga Day in New York, the Consulate General of India held 4th International Day of Yoga at the popular Governor's Island. The event was honored by Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney. India's soft power and its new global outreach became apparent after the United Nations General Assembly in September 2015 responded positively to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's suggestion that June 21st every year be commemorated worldwide as International Yoga Day. The day was recommended by Modi since it marks the longest day in the Northern Hemisphere. Adopted in December 2015 in New York, the draft resolution had a record-breaking 177 co-sponsors, including the U.S. and China. India's living cultural heritage has been shaped by centuries of adaptation, recreation and coexistence. The country's intangible cultural heritage finds expression in the ideas, practices and beliefs and values shared by communities across centuries. I'm Congresswoman Carolyn B. Maloney, and I represent New York in Congress. My district is the 12th district, which is on the water, the east side of Manhattan, Astoria, Queens, Greenpoint, and Williamsburg, Brooklyn. So today we are practicing yoga. It's a great day to celebrate the International Day of Yoga here in the harbor of New York. This is the fourth year that we're doing the International Day of Yoga. It was a request of Prime Minister Modi and it passed the United Nations, so it's being celebrated around the world. Also at the request of uh, Prime Minister Modi when he came to America, he asked for a Diwali stamp. So I put in a bill to create a Diwali stamp. Now we have a Diwali stamp. It's one of the most popular in America for, for good over evil peace over uh, and harmony. At the iconic uh, Governor's Island, what a wonderful day, what a wonderful setting. The, the blue resplendent Atlantic Ocean, Statue of Liberty and the Manhattan skyline. And the Congresswoman of Manhattan with us. And today, uh, Congresswoman at the Capitol, uh, our embassy is celebrating with a large number of your colleagues at the Capitol right at this moment. And another thing which I wanted to tell uh, 
uh, the viewers today in the presence of Congresswoman is that yoga originated in India, but in the modern age, I think it got hugely popularized because of the work that was done in the United States. So I think yoga is one huge connect between India and the United States. This is Upendra Chivukla, Commissioner at the Board of Public Utilities in New Jersey. Uh, today is a very special day as uh, the Indian Consulate is celebrating the International Day of Yoga, and uh, which was commissioned by the United Nations uh, at the request of uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And today we are at the Governor's Island, and we have l large members uh, from the uh, Indian American community are here at the Governor's Island to do yoga. Good morning, uh, ITV. This is the Srujal Parikh Federation of Indian Association 2018 president. Uh, we are at the Governor's Island uh, International Yoga Day organized by uh, Consul General of India, New York, and uh, uh, Partners Organization. FIA is very proud to be part of it. And we have come here with the full bus of uh, committee members and the community leaders and having such a wonderful weather, I think we cannot ask for more. Amazing uh, uh, view of New York City and the location is perfect. Uh, India has been a great contributor to the world. Uh, more than 5,000 years ago, the practice of yoga and the meditation uh, originated from India. I'm so glad to be part of this event uh, at the request of uh, Council General Sandeep Chakravarti. And we are joined by uh, Congresswoman uh, Caroline Maloney, and, uh, who is a great supporter of India, and also the uh, legislation to create a Diwali stamp. Tat Sunny Dao. In the vicinity of yoga, harmony prevails. All of our leaders around the world are looking for solutions to political problems, military problems, but they're looking outside. It's in the vicinity of yoga that harmony prevails. We teach transcendental meditation in entire school systems where it transforms everything from the violence in the school, even amongst the children who are not meditating. That's the most amazing part about this. I would just like to end with a great, a great tribute to the Indian people, the grandfathers and their grandfathers and the individuals throughout history who have kept this knowledge pure and alive. I consider this, meditation and yoga, to be the single greatest cultural export that has ever been offered to the world. Thank you very much. I am representing Mallakham Federation USA. This is unique form of uh, yoga. Uh, this is uh, done in the air. We have two variations. One is rope and one is pole. Pole is done uh, around 8 feet tall pole and uh, rope is then around 18 feet tall uh, rope malakhams. It is uh, a mix of yoga, gymnastics and basically malakhams. So we do yoga and gymnastics on a pole. Mala means wrestler and kham means pole. So yoga helps support young people to make their minds strong and their mind clear what is right and wrong in society to make them aware what is good for health and uh, how to be an asset of society. So to utilize your own potential in a better way, yoga will help you in that. No matter what career you choose in life, yoga is relevant for all young people of today. Indian performance arts and its traditional aspects is held with great respect in our community. Many Indian Americans living in the U.S. encourage and empower implementation and learning of these classical Indian arts through music, dance and other activities, imbibing the young generation with a deeper understanding of their roots. Many organizations and nonprofits dedicate their work towards presenting and promoting Indian performance arts throughout the country, putting for showcases and programs. Such an event recently took place at the Floral Park in New York, where the Basava International celebrated Basava Jayanti 44th anniversary. The 44th anniversary honored the birth of Sri Basava Sivara, an important occasion in many states of South India. Presenting the colorful and unique spirit of South Indian culture, its language, heritage and religion, the Basava Jayanti in New York saw a program that amalgamated musical tributes, Paranatyam dances, recitations and much more performed by the members of the community. 
A display of Indian religious impact in the tri-state, the program was very well received by the audience. Let's now take a look at some highlights from the event. Basava Jayanti is a Hindu festival celebrated majorly in Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Maharashtra to honor the birth of Lord Basavana. Basavana turned out to be a great poet, social reformer and philosopher. Through poetry, he started spreading social wakefulness, gender and social prejudice. In Karnataka, people from all cities and villages celebrated in grand manner. On the day, people visit the temples of Lord Basaveswara to submit prayers, especially for the farmers. The event held in New York saw performances that pay tribute to classical arts brought by various centers throughout the area. The students of the school showed utmost joy and happiness while presenting their pieces. The event indicated the growth of South Asian heritage amongst the younger generation and the importance of keeping up with the roots. Shri Ganapati Raya, Shri Ganapati Raya, Sani Ri Sani Pani Paga 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 Risa, Sari Gapa Gaga Papa Ni Gapa Garisa, Sari Sani Paga Paga Risa, Ah 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 Ah
time for another short break. Do stay with us on Vision of Asia. We'll be back. And welcome again. You are watching Vision of Asia and I'm your host, Aditi Lamba. Concluding the program, we have an exclusive In Conversation segment featuring renowned Acharya Dr. Lokesh Muni. A social reformer, thinker, writer and poet, Acharya Dr. Muni has been exemplary in his works towards human values, non-violence, peace and cooperation in the society. Recognized as India's prominent spiritual leader, Acharya Dr. Muni is respected globally and has been honored by prestigious organizations such as the United Nations, Indian government and much more. The eminent personality recently sat down with ITV goes Ashok Vyas discussing various attributes of spirituality and the significance of the ongoing Yoga Day commemorations while also reflecting upon the launch of Life Global. It takes place in New Jersey next week, a launch we are extremely excited to showcase in the coming days under the leadership of Padma Shri Dr. Sudhir Parikh, the chairman of ITV Gold and the Greater Parikh Worldwide Media Family. The initiative aims to uplift the unprivileged by educating, empowering and enriching. The launch has been supported by the consulates, the US representatives and distinguished leaders from the South Asian diaspora. Sarvottam ko prakat karne wali hai, uske saundarya ko ujagar karne wali hai, wo uski samvedan shilta hai. Aur muni ji aisa hota hai ki jo pratisparada ka yug hai aur adhikadik prapt karne ki hod hai, उसमें मनुष्य औरों को छोड़े स्वयं के प्रति संवेदनशील रहे ये पात्रता भी उसकी धीरे धीरे कम होती जाती है तो एक संतुलन बना रहे जैसे आपकी जो कार्य कुशलता है आप इतने सारे कार्यों का उत्तरदायित्व तो इतने सारे प्रकल्प चलते हैं उनके लिए उनको पूरा करने के लिए आप अपने समय को विभाजित करते हैं अपनी ऊर्जा को किस किस तरह से प्रवाहित होना है उसका एक स्वरूप आपके भीतर है तो ये स्पष्टता ये संतुलन संवेदनशीलता रहे और उत्तरदायित्व भी मिले नहीं आपने बहुत सुंदर शब्द का प्रयोग किया आज कठिनाई संतुलन की है हमारी भारतीय संस्कृति में संतुलन पर बहुत चिंतन किया गया उपनिषद में पुरुषार्थ चतुष्टई की कल्पना की गई अर्थ काम धर्म और मोक्ष जहां पर इन चारों के बीच में संतुलन होता है वहां हेल्दी सोसाइटी का निर्माण होता है स्वस्थ समाज की संरचना होती है आज समाज में विकृतियां क्यों बढ़ रही है क्योंकि धर्म और मोक्ष को भुला करके केवल अर्थ और काम के पीछे जहां आंधी दौड़ होती है वहां विकृतियां उत्पन्न होती है अब भगवत गीता को देखिएगा यत्र योगेश्वर कृष्ण यत्र पार्थो धनोर्धर है तत्र श्री विजयो भूति ध्रुवा नीति मतर मम लोकमान्य बाल गंगाधर तिलक जी ने इसकी टीका लिखते हुए लीक से हटके उन्होंने अर्थ किया इसका और उन्होंने योगीराज कृष्ण को अध्यात्म का प्रतीक माना अर्जुन को भौतिकता का प्रतीक मानते हुए उन्होंने कहा कि जहां अध्यात्म और भौतिकता के बीच में संतुलन होता है वहां पर विजय है वहां पर भूति है वहां पर श्री है वहां पर लक्ष्मी है आज कठिनाई है ये संतुलन बिगड़ रहा है और इस संतुलन को अगर ठीक करना है तो मुझे लगता है कहीं ना कहीं एजुकेशन प्रणाली को ठीक करने की जरूरत है नेशंस ने जो प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने 21 जून को अंतर्राष्ट्रीय विश्व योग दिवस के रूप में मनाने का सुझाव दिया तो कई देशों ने उसका बहुमत के साथ समर्थन किया और जो पहला यूएन डे योग डे मनाया गया था उसमें भी आप उपस्थित थे यूनाइटेड नेशंस में इस बार भी आपकी उपस्थिति वहाँ होनी है आप बताएं इसका क्या प्रभाव पिछले तीन वर्षों में आपको लगता है कि अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर योग पर जो केंद्र 21 जून को हो रहा है उससे देखिए हमारे देश के माननीय प्रधानमंत्री भाई नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने यह प्रस्ताव जब यूनाइटेड नेशंस में रखा था शायद किसी ने कल्पना नहीं की होगी कि स्वल्प समय के अंदर सैकड़ों देश इस बात का समर्थन करेंगे और स्वल्प समय में अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस के रूप में यूनाइटेड नेशन से इसकी शुरुआत होगी पर किंतु वैसा हुआ और जब मेरे जी मुझे ये सौभाग्य मिला पहली बार ही हमारी भारत की विदेश मंत्री के साथ हमारे आध्यात्मिक गुरु श्री श्री रविशंकर जी और इवन यूनाइटेड नेशंस के उस समय के सेक्रेटरी जनरल बांकी मून ने स्वयं ने आसन किए थे सारे हमारे सामने और हम बड़े उस चीज से आलादित थे मुझे संबोधित करने का अवसर मिला और इस बार फिर से मैं उसमें भाग ले रहा हूँ योग फॉर पीस योग फॉर हेल्थ योग वो रास्ता है जिससे न केवल शरीर हमारा शरीर मन बुद्धि इंद्रिय भावनाएं आत्मा ये सब स्वस्थ होते हैं 
हमारे ऋषि मुनियों ने कहा शरीर माध्यम खलु धर्म साधना धर्म की साधना करने के लिए भी स्वस्थ शरीर की जरूरत होती है अगर शरीर स्वस्थ नहीं है तो वो ठीक से धर्म की साधना भी नहीं कर पाएगा धर्म की साधना ठीक तभी से कर पाएगा जब शरीर स्वस्थ होगा इस दिशा में सभी प्रयास कर रहे हैं विशेष करके आचार्य लोकेश मुनि जी सभी धर्मावलंबियों को उनके धर्म गुरुओं को साथ लेकर इसी चेतना को और अधिक प्रखरता से सब तक पहुँचाने की दिशा में कटिबद्ध हैं और जो पूरा विश्व है वो एक कुटुंब है एक परिवार है इस प्रकार के भाव से जुड़ा हुआ एक और संस्था कह दें लाइफ ग्लोबल वो भी लॉन्च आपकी उपस्थिति में होने वाला है जिसके चेयरमैन पद्मश्री डॉक्टर सुधीर पारिक हैं जो कि आईटीवी गोल्ड और पारिक वर्ल्ड वाइड मीडिया के चेयरमैन भी हैं इस तरह के जो संस्थान आ रहे हैं जैसे लाइफ ग्लोबल जिसका मुख्य फोकस एजुकेशन एम्पावरमेंट और कलेक्टिवली एनरिचमेंट करने की तरफ है इनकी भूमिका के महत्व के बारे में आप क्या सोचते हैं नहीं ये बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण कदम उठाया है मैं डॉक्टर पद्म सिंह सुधीर परिक जी को वर्षों से जानता हूँ और मैंने ये देखा है हर बार कि उनके भीतर कुछ नया करने की कुछ समाज को देने की ललक हर समय रहती है और इस बार भी सत्ताईस तारीख को अल्बर्ट रॉयल पैलेस में इसका शुभारम्भ होने जा रहा है मुझे चीफ गेस्ट के रूप में उन्होंने इन्वाइट किया है और मुझे उसमें भाग लेते हुए बड़ी प्रसन्नता होगी उन इस विचार की आज बहुत ज़रूरत है शिक्षा के क्षेत्र में या सशक्तिकरण के क्षेत्र में और सारे विश्व को एक परिवार की दिशा में आगे बढ़ाने के लिए ये बहुत बढ़िया कदम है और मैं इसका स्वागत करता हूँ डॉक्टर सुधीर परिक को इस बात के लिए उनका अभिनंदन करता हूँ And this is all for tonight's segment. For any suggestions or feedback, and to get your voices and organizations seen on our show, do write to us on events at itvgold.com or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash itvgold. Thank you for joining us. This is Vision of Asia, and I am Aditi Lamba. Take care and be well.